this is Tamara from Ooglyblog.com, and I'm excited to be back with another edition of Yarn Love. This is where once a month I show you a yarn I love and tell you all about it. This month I'm working with Red Heart to share their yarn, Collage. It's a beautiful jumbo weight yarn, and you can follow the link in the description to add this gorgeous yarn to your own stash. So, here we're looking at two colors of collage that I've got in my own stash and that I recently used in the Spring Rain Lapgan, which is a free pattern found on mooglyblog.com. There are just several colors of this one, but they all blend beautifully together, and you can see how I've used two of my favorites in my recent pattern. So, now let's take a closer look at the yarn label. You can see this is a jumbo weight yarn signified with the number seven. It means it's super duper duper thick. The biggest, thickest classification that the Craft Yarn Council has right now. It's also a hand wash yarn that should be dried flat, which I do recommend for most handmade projects anyway. Now we'll take a closer look up here. You can see there are five ounces per ball and about 55 yards. With this jumbo yarn, it does at least go a little bit further. Um, so you can see, even though there's only 55 yards, this is still a nice big ball. You can also see there's a little bit of a halo or fuzz to the yarn right there. And it's a beautiful acrylic and wool blend, which should be right there. There it is, 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So like I said, you can go to the link in the description to check out a little bit more of it yourself. But you can see right here how gorgeous it looks and the beautiful that there are two strands twisted together right there that make up one strand of the yarn and it feels very soft it's got a little bit of wool in it like I said but you don't really feel the wool as such it doesn't feel it doesn't have that any sort of scratchiness to it it's just beautifully soft now let's take a quick look at a couple of swatches I've made using this yarn okay here's a swatch of red heart collage that I made using half double crochet you can see it's beautifully thick and I've used a great big hook. This one is a 15 millimeter. I played with this yarn with both wooden hooks and plastic hooks uh, and plastic needles for that matter. And I found that it slid really well on either type of needle. Um, it's just a little awkward sometimes because it is so big, but if you find a hook style that works for you for these jumbo yarns, then you'll be all set. You can also see it doesn't really fuzz up when I frog it. When I was, was designing with it, I frogged with it quite a bit, and it's got a little bit of fuzz on it already, but I didn't find that it really fro fuzzed up or that it caught when it was being frogged or anything like that. So that's what it looks like when it's crocheted up. Let's take another look at it when it's being knit. Here, you can see I've been using a plastic needle, a great big one. Um, this one is 15 millimeters and just the garter stitch, and you can see how squish, squishy it is here too, and that it really knits up quite beautifully. Um, listed on the label, you'll see some slightly smaller hook and needle sizes, but I really think that this is about as small as I would personally want to go with this yarn, unless I was making something that I wanted to be really stiff, like a basket, or maybe a rug or something like that, where I just wanted it to be really, really tight and um, a stiffer fabric, but for a looser fabric, I would recommend using a 15 millimeter hook or needle for these, or bigger, I suppose, if you've got it. Um, when I was knitting and crocheting with this, I found that it didn't split at all. I never split the yarn with either. Um, and again, it was easy to frog, obviously, either way. It's not thick or thin at all. It can, maintains a really nice consistency of thickness all throughout. You can see with the gray, it's a little harder to see the two colors twisted together because they aren't really different colors for this one, but you can see that just helps add to that beautiful marled look right there. And although I went through many, many skeins of this, I didn't notice any dye lot issues. Um, that said, of course, it does have dye lots. You can see right there. So you will want to make sure to buy enough of each color for the project you're making. Um, I also found that the weight was pretty consistent between the two different colors that I tried. And I think this yarn would be a good one for beginners. Um, maybe not the very first yarn you've used simply because it is so chunky. Um, but that said, if you find that you are fiddling too much when you're just learning to knit or crochet with the real thin yarn, this might actually be a really good one to choose. So give it a try. Um, I think you'll really like collage. I know I certainly did. I found it beautiful to work with in both knit and crochet, and I think you will too. Now, as I mentioned, I've designed one pattern so far with this yarn, but there are lots of free patterns also featuring this yarn on redheart.com in both crochet and knit. So you can check those out too. 
So once again, be sure to go to the link in the description for links to the yarn and all the patterns and everything you need. They'll all be at that link on mooglyblog.com. So I hope you'll check it out. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you.